is Summer in the City as described by Banana Janana. Yay! So, Summer in the City is the UK's largest YouTube event. For me, it all starts with this one person called Tom Burns, and he created, runs, and organizes the event. He's also my fiance, and I love him so, so much. This year, Summer in the City has moved to London XL, Tom got the rights to use it, and it's the UK's largest convention center, and Tom's so excited about it. Now, when Summer in the City first started, it was a free event that was held in the field, and people just came and gathered, but pretty soon it has got to be too many people. As a result, though, it went from a free event to a ticketed event. This allowed Tom to pay for the venue, electricity, lighting, security, banners, internet, games, furniture, stage, production, production crew, pamphlets, water, green room, travel, food, and just lots more. <laughs> so much goes into this event you guys have no idea. Now to touch basis on the meet and greet culture. <laughs> Beforehand it was a first come first serve system where you arrive and if you're in line first then you get to meet the YouTuber, but it got to the point where people were waiting 6 to 12 hours in line and it became a health and safety risk. People were pushing each other and shoving to get in line and hurting each other and just behaving badly. So this year, like many other YouTube events, Tom came up with a ballot system. For this, you log on to the ballot page, get your ballot ID, and list five YouTubers you'd like to meet, and everyone's submissions got shuffled up and then drawn, and kind of like the lottery, you want to meet and greet. Tom also had this function where you could add a friend to your ballot, so you'd have the ballot leader and the friend. On the site, they would send an email request to each other, and their accounts would link. Then if the ballot leader won their ballot options, their friend would win the same ones. This way, they can go and do a meet and greet together. Now the night that Tom posted the ballot winnings, um, it was very late and he was trying so hard. However, there was one line of code that got messed up. He left a U out of Sunday. <laughs> and that resulted in some people's friends not being added to each other's ballots. However, Tom was able to fix that, and so everything's good, and he fixed it within 24 hours. Then came the next issue. People were auctioning off their ballot winnings for money. Um, <laughs> this made Tom just kind of look like this for a bit. And among those people selling off ballots were scams and people who were selling fake ballots. So now when you go to pick up your ballot wristband, your ticket ID is going to be checked with your ballot ID, and if they don't match up, then the ballot's void and no one gets to use the wristband. So no trading online. <laughs> However, Tom's not against giving away your ballot as a goodwill gesture to a friend or someone you know. But for this to be done, you'll have to go collect your meet and greet wristband with the person you want to give it to and give the wristband to them in person in front of the staff. Now there is one issue that's come with the ballot. 7% of people who entered ballot entries did not actually win a meet and greet. It's not 50% or like half the people, like people have been blowing it up on Twitter. <laughs> it is actually just 7% and there's three main reasons for why this happened. The person only put one YouTuber on their ballot options instead of five, so by picking just that one YouTuber didn't guarantee that you were going to meet that YouTuber because you were put in a ballot with thousands of people and only a few hundred could actually win the ballot. The other thing that happened was kind of similar where they did go ahead and fill up their meet and greet full of five people but they were all five large YouTubers. So the person they put in the first spot did get put into the ballot but the rest of the four YouTubers ballots got filled up on the first draw because they were just so popular and yeah. Lastly, there are people who did not link to their friends correctly and therefore did not get the friend's ballot options. An email request had to be sent both ways. Because of this, and people not quite understanding what was going on, Tom got a lot of hate and it made me very sad. Tom is not a hateful person, he's not trying to scam people, he's just, he wants you guys to have a good time at the event and he's honestly trying his hardest to make that happen. If you didn't properly link with your friend, you can email Tom at Sitsi and hopefully he can get it sorted out. However, if the YouTubers meet and greet was just packed too full, then I'm very sorry you won't be able to go to that certain meet and greet with your friend. So you'd be falling into this others category and there's still hope here because Tom had an idea. He went over his list and he found out that there were 2,000 spaces and meet and greets left over among the YouTubers. So these are people who didn't quite fill up their meet and greets through the ballot system. Some had 5 spaces, 10, 30, 100, and some people just had one. So on Tuesday, Tom is going to launch a first come first serve system on the ballot site where you can pick from the list of YouTubers available and hopefully get into a meet and greet if you didn't have one prior. And there's loads more going on at Sitsi. There's panels and stage events and open mic and there's just there's so much more to Sitsi than just the meet and greets. So please have a good time and yay, it's this weekend. <laughs>